Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily stock market update and we will figure out is it bearish market trend, what's going on with the stock market world. Let's move to 5 rules of risk management, please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful, now it's a time for trading view. Let's start from uh, stock market heat map based on the all USA companies market cap and daily performance. My name is Varik and looks like mixed mode. A lot of sectors like finance green, a lot of sectors green, uh, technology kind of mix. But generally it's a retail trade, it's kind of large caps red, small caps green. Uh, let's move to my watch list and we will do technical analysis review, right? Let's start it. Let's start it from my watch list, daily time frame. I'm using daily time frame for my swing trading. And uh, if you want to learn more about trading with setup, just go to the description. There is the link about trading with setup training and other links about all my trainings. Now let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using simple moving averages. White line SMA 200, purple line SMA 100, blue line SMA 50, yellow line SMA 20, red line SMA 10, green line SMA 5, buy and sell script indicator below, yellow line are sign line and Heikonachi bars, that's all. Very simple, it's not easy because emotions involve. If you follow the indicators you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions, like on my chart you see. When SMA5 did bullish crossover it, over red line, it was entry for long position. When red circle, when SMA5 did bearish crossover over red line, it was entry for short position. Green circle is a bullish position. Recently, yesterday, it's a DXY, I'm talking about DXY USA dollar. USA dollar yesterday did fully reversal and today it's confirmed that reversal. And SMA5 did bearish crossover, it's a bearish reversal for USA dollar for DXY, but at the same time it touched SMA200 and below SMA100, two very strong support lines. Will it bounce from it? Possible. It did touch it already several times and each time it was bounced. We'll see if it's going to be bounced again. Absolutely possible, but so far it gave us just bearish signal. We'll see. Let's move to Nasdaq. Nasdaq, Nasdaq was today very negative, minus one and a quarter percent, and finally closed minus zero, well, minus quarter. It just recovered back to one percent. Daily time frame it created. You see, it was below SMA, SMA twenty. It was very negative bearish and it recovered back and this one it's kind of bullish hammer bar. We'll see sell signal still bearish trend, still bearish trend or sign Hikonachi is still bearish on daily. 4 hours time frame, sell signal SMA5 is bearish crossover over 20 bearish trend. What happened? Last two bars they touched SMA50 and bounced from SMA50. SMA50 strong support, it did bounce from it, but trend is still bearish. One hour time frame, similar bearish crossover was it almost touched SMA200 and it did bounce from, from it and, and it did bounce from oversold territory. You see RSI was in oversold territory and did bounce from it and did bullish crossover. Now it has resistant, SMA20 is resistant. SMA 100 also resistant line and SMA 50 resistant line. It left gaps over here, it left gap over here on the top. We'll see. Nice bounce, but still below 20. VXN volatility index for NASDAQ. SMA 5 did bullish crossover over 20, last bar did reversal, but still about 20, it is in a bullish territory. SMP 500, SPX. SMA 5 did bearish crossover, last two bars for last two days, they touched SMA 20, SMA 20 strong support, 
It can bounce from it the last bar. It's a hammer bar, bullish reversal hammer bar, bullish hammer bar. We'll see it today. It's almost one percent up. Four hours time frame, similar story like use. It did touch the SMA 50 blue line and it did bounce from it. Still below 20 in the bearish territory, but did nice bounce and recovered one, two, three, almost four bar, bars clean. Cleared almost four, five bars. It is powerful. One hour time frame. Bullish crossover by signal and last bar touched SMA 50 and 100. Strong resistance level. It still has gap over here, but strong resistance level. It can even move higher, fill that gap and do re reversal from that level possible. Bullish reversal signal on one hour time frame. VIX volatility index minus 11%. It's 80. 85% chance next to trading session Monday and Tuesday S&P 500 will have negative day. Maybe Monday it will be rejected from SMA. Um, yeah, maybe Monday will be rejected or Tuesday. We'll see daily time frame weeks. It did touch the SMA 200 and it was fully rejected back to SMA 20. Dow Jones was positive plus one and a half percent. <coughs> it, it yeah, it did two gaps for last two days, and today it filled the two gaps suddenly. Suddenly bullish green bar and filled the two gaps. Uh, now <coughs> still below 20, still bearish trend. Four hours time frame. Buy signal, nice reversal, last bar touched SMA 200, can be rejected from SMA 200, this gap is filled already, and this gap is filled, this gap, multiple gaps, it was island reversal, right, gap over here, gap over there, uh, will it be rejected from 20, 200, possible, uh, I can actually side it, bullish crossover. Still below 20, bearish trend, but nice bullish signal. One hour time frame, it did bullish crossover, bullish trend. Last bar above SMA 20 and SMA 50 did bearish crossover. It's bearish setup, bullish reversal signal. We'll see what will happen on Monday. VXD also minus 11%. <coughs> IWM Russell 2000 positive plus almost 1% today. Nice bounce, it did touch the SMA 20 and 10. Also created bullish hammer bar. It kind of sideways because it's still sideways around the SMA 20. For our time frame, it did bounce from SMA 100. It touched SMA 20. SMA 20 is still strong resistant. One hour time frame. SMA 5 did bullish crossover over 10. Bullish reversal signal. Bullish reversal signal. Bullish crossover, right? One hour time frame is a bullish crossover. RVX volatility index for Russell 2000. Daily time frame, it did reversal, it was above SMA 20, it was bullish, now it came back below 20, no fear on the market at all. Apple plus half percent, right, Apple daily plus half percent, last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend. Bullish trend, it looks like it's a double top, right, double top on daily for Apple, and it's a bearish divergence looks like it's a, a bull trap let me let me show it to you uh no i did i did wrong sorry about that i need line you see the price action is the same nothing new 
and RSI, it, it built bearish divergence on RSI. Bearish divergence is not a signal, it's a condition. It means Apple is building bearish reversal condition. So far, it's a bullish territory, bullish trend. Four hours time frame, same story. Bullish trend, bearish divergence on RSI. Nothing new. One hour time frame, same story. Last bar above all moving averages. Bullish trend. Yeah, it's in the bullish territory, bullish trend, right? By signal on all time frames. Tesla, let's see Tesla. One hour time frame, it did bounce from SMA 200. Also, moved about all moving averages. It's a bullish reversal. Even today, it was minus almost half percent. Four hours time frame. It's still sideways. It's still dancing around SMA 20 yellow line. And daily. Daily same sideways, right? For several days, it dancing around SMA 20 level. NVIDIA. NVIDIA plus three quarter percent. Daily, it looks like it, yeah, it started some reversal because sell signal from the top. It's still sideways, still last bar above all moving averages except SMA 5. Still bullish territory on the daily time frame. RSI started some reversal, but nothing critical yet. Just some 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 activity. Remember, still multiple gaps below, but still the top of the range. Looks like it's yeah. On the four hours time frame, it gave us already bearish reversal signal. SMA five did bearish crossover and last bar below SMA five and ten. RSI and Kekanaichi bearish. On 4 hours time frame, it's already bearish reversal. On 1 hour time frame, it did bearish reversal trend. It did touch the SMA 50 and bounce from SMA 50. So far, it's in the bearish territory below 20. Microsoft, similar, it was bearish trend. And last 2 hours, it did bounce from the oversold territory. It was an oversold territory, it did nice bounce. Four hours time frame, same, it did bounce from SMA 200 territory. And daily, still bearish crossover, still below SMA 20, it created hammer bar below SMA 20, still bearish trend. Amazon minus one and a half percent today. Amazon still negative. Bearish trend, last bar touched SMA 100. But still trend is bearish. It's just recently it did touch SMA 100 and bounce from it. We'll see. So far trend is bearish. Four hours time frame, same story. Two bars, they touched SMA 100 and it, I'm sorry, 200 white line. And the last bar it bounced. 50% of the half reversal for the, of the previous bar. But still bearish trend. One hour time frame. Nice bounce by, by signal, but still below SMA 20, still in the bearish territory. RSI and Hekanachi did bullish crossover. It is positive bullish. Google, one hour time frame, same story for Google. It did touch SMA 200 and bounce from SMA 200. Positive bull bounce from SMA 200 support line. Four hours time frame. It did bounce from SMA 50. Still in the bearish territory below SMA 5, 10 and 20. Bearish trend. Daily time frame. It is still bearish trend. Last bar below SMA 20. Still bearish trend. Even Google was today plus quarter percent. Meta just flat. Daily time frame, last bar below all moving, all moving averages except 100 and 200. Still bearish position, bearish territory. 
4 hours time frame SMA5 green line did bearish crossover over 5, 10 and over all moving averages and last two bars they were below all moving averages but last bar bounce, bounce and indeed touched SMA200 it could be rejection because now it's in the rejection position right and one hour time frame it was very bearish and it did bounce last four hours very powerful and stopped at SMA20 it could be rejection from SMA20 that's all let's do summary all indexes and equities still bearish on daily and four hours time frame but on one hour time frame they did last several hours like last last four hours of today they did nice bounce will it continue this bounce on monday possible or it will be rejected and it will continue bearish trend also possible we'll see on monday what will happen so far trend is still bearish with nice bullish expected bounce because bounce expected because it was very oversold on rsi very oversold on rsi and almost each of them had nice support level from SMA 200 or SMA 50 or SMA 100. That's all. Thank you so much. Let's move to my disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational and informational purposes only. Remember, for educational purpose, we are using Paper Training Simulator. Thank you for watching Simple Training Style videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, uh, indexes and cryptos. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.